everyone, so it's bedtime, and I just got home from a long day of, of errands, work, meetings, I had a business meeting tonight, and it went really well, I thought I would just crawl into bed, I have my slip on, I have a little bit of tea right here. You have a bedside table lamp. Right there. And it's on my mirrored nightstand. So I do have a book that I read at times before I go to bed. Just skim the pages of this large book. If you hear any sort of white noise. I do have a light on my ceiling that illuminates and also makes sound and it's quite calming to go to sleep. So anyways, I thought I would just sit in bed and talk about my day. And if you want to listen, feel free to listen. And if you're in bed as well, I hope you get nice and cozy in your, in your covers. I like to fold them right over like this. Sometimes I take them down if I want to be a little more cool, but for now, I'm going to keep them right here. I have a sheet on top of a comforter. So, nice and cozy, so I hope you are as well. So, today I woke up, I had some coffee and tea. I ended up reading a newspaper, actually. I haven't read a newspaper in quite some time. But I did that. And then I um, made some videos. Now we're having a little more intimate. So I made some videos today. A lot of you may watch these videos just based on a Google search of finding things to soothe you or someone to talk to before going to bed or ASMR. But for those of you who don't know that I do other videos, a whole YouTube channel here that I of course make videos on and I talk in a more loud, more fast-paced voice. But I do enjoy talking in this register because not only does it soothe you all, but it also soothes myself. And it calms me down and I relax. Right before going to bed, my register tends to get deeper. As well as when I wake up in the morning, since when I do a lot of my videos such as this one in the morning because I have a very low register. And, um, yeah, so I do do make videos regularly, so I did that. I also cleaned my house a little bit today. That was enjoyable. I put some music on and it was quite enjoyable. Now tonight I just had a dinner, a business meeting. It was for a possible partnership. We'll see how that goes. A lot of wonderful women. But all in all, it was a pretty good day. I decided to wear my hair straight today. I don't know if you guys all like it straight, but I, I kind of do. There's some braids in there as well. And, um, yeah. Sometimes at night I put on TV, but to be honest, I just like hearing the noise of the room, the sound of the room. Sometimes the sound of my breathing or the sounds of the sheets when you get all snuggled into your sheets. I like the sound of that. I find it very calming and very relaxing. What do you do to relax at night? I would like to know. drink warm beverages or cold beverages to go to sleep. I alternate between hot tea, but sometimes I like to have a little bit of grapefruit juice before I go to bed. Grapefruit juice tends to center me, 
especially after growing out. I was in West Hollywood, which is quite chaotic, quite quite a lot to see. I would like it if you guys get a little closer to me. <laughs> now it's like you guys are in bed with me. <laughs> um, yeah, it was quite chaotic. So many people out and about. Couples in relationships. Myself, I'm single. I lie alone a lot in bed at night. And I feel lonely at times. I can see how people feel lonely. But just know if you are alone or you are single, it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing, not a negative thing. Sometimes the grass isn't always greener on the other side. be in a relationship where I dreaded going next so I sleep next to the man next to me so sometimes it's nicer to go to sleep alone or to sleep with a stranger which for me I don't feel like I'm quite a stranger to you all but I know sometimes at night you just want someone to talk to that's how I feel at this moment actually I just wanted someone to talk to because I wasn't quite tired but I do feel myself get a little sleepy when I talk just the lights peaceful. I have pink star lights to the right of me and I have white ball lights that are almost made out of yarn in front of me and then of course my star light that is projected from a projector and that is on the ceiling and that's what's making the static noise which I find to be very calming I find the different color of lights to be calming the uh, stars on the ceiling blue tint. While those stars next to me on the strings is more of a pink hue. And then of course we have the white lights, which is of course a neutral color, which I find to be calming. My bedroom is mostly gold. With the exception of course of the pink stars and a few pink little accessories on my nightstand. But I, um, I tend to like the neutral color, I tend to like the gold color. So I don't know if you guys can hear. I move my feet a lot in bed. I don't know if you can hear that, but my mom used to do that. And it was so comforting when I would sleep with her. She moved her feet around in bed underneath the sheets. And it was the most comforting thing. And it put her to sleep, and I loved it so much because it was so calming and so peaceful. And it put me to sleep as well. So sometimes I do that to make myself go to sleep. But I like to reflect at the end of the day. I talk to myself at times, which is completely normal if you do talk to yourself. A lot of people do. At the end of the day, don't you think you're one of the most interesting people you know? I think I'm one of the most interesting people I know, but then again, I live with myself. But that's important. We live with ourselves every day. It's very important to find what we do interesting, to find our lives fulfilling. I find my life to be fulfilling. I love talking with you guys. Listeners on the other end. Sometimes I think about what you guys are doing. Are you propped up in bed like me? I have a, two pillows. This is my decorative pillow, and then I have the pillow I sleep on underneath. I'll show you guys actually. So this is the pillow I sleep on. It's just a Ambient, no 
like it. If I natural remedies and herbs tend to work better. And uh, that's how I relax at night. I read, I sip tea. I have a television in my room, but sometimes I find televisions to be distracting. Sometimes the brightness causes us to overthink. All the noise, all the a distraction, to be honest, sometimes the night we need to be alone with our thoughts. I like to be alone with my thoughts. <laughs> Don't fear being alone with your thoughts. I think that's the greatest tragedy, is fear of being alone with your thoughts, because our thoughts are our innermost feelings, and we need to connect with those. Once we are disconnected from our thoughts, we are disconnected from the world, from other people, from allowing people to come into our lives. So I like to be connected with who I am. So when I meet somebody to share a bed with or to share a talk with at night like this, just random nighttime chit chat, that I can be open. But not only that, I can be comfortable in me so they can sense that comfortability as well. I feel like you guys sense my comfortability with myself. Comfortableness, if you will. <laughs> comfortability. Quite calm, quite relaxing to be honest. Hmm. Hmm. One of my favorite things when I crawl in bed and get rid of the sham. If you don't have a grand place that you live in, or if your bedroom's not decorated exactly how you want, you have a bed, and not a lot of people get that luxury. And we take it for granted, but just know that's your safe place when you're in that bed. That's your safe place. And I think that's a very comforting feeling. What do you guys think is your greatest comfort in your room? I look around, and honestly, I think it's my star projector. I like the noise it makes colors it makes, and I like that it looks like I have a galaxy on my wall, that the whole world is literally in my room, and I'm at the center of my own universe. I'm a religious person, but I also believe in the power of the universe, putting things you want out into the universe, asking for things that you want. I think that's a very powerful Each breath I take. Each breath is a gift from God. Tomorrow is promised to no one. You never know when your last breath will be, but that's okay. Because everything will be okay. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm looking at my face shades again. <laughs> I to be a distraction in bed. My ex-boyfriend used to be on his phone all the time at night. And I just 
here it seems ironic since I'm talking to a camera, which is in turn technology because you'll be going up on the internet, but in a way I feel more connected to myself when I talk through the camera. I feel like only people who are watching this and this far are truly connected with me and truly understand me and truly want to listen to me. As human beings, we don't listen enough.
and you can see how you sleep with it now. Just resting. And we can just rest together without having to sleep. Just focus on your breathing and your circles, not in your mind. But in the sound of my nails circling my computer. We're going to take speaking and take down my tongue. <clears throat> my fingers are getting tired. <laughs> are you guys still with me? I want you to know that you're appreciated and you're loved. Tomorrow is a brand new day, but also get things with the day that we just had. Tomorrow the possibilities are endless tomorrow we wake up and we never know what the world has for us in store and that's so exciting. Listen to one another, listen to yourself. If you feel like you have no one that's listening to you, listen to yourself. Converse with yourself, take interest in yourself. And then you'll have someone else. I'll just want